Hey, greetings. This is Brother Jim at DontPerish.com, John 4, 24 Radio. Hey, we are at a beautiful campsite, camp spot here in August 2019 as we're traveling, preaching the gospel. Took one evening as a rest break before we go back out into the world. I want to talk to you about handicapped Christians. Let's talk about it. Yeah, so I want to talk about handicapped Christians. You know, there's a lot of Christians that profess Christ even profess to be born of him by the gospel, even profess to have come out of man-made religion, but they're handicapped Christians. And you know why I know all about this? I used to be one. Let me give you some examples. Handicapped means you have a disadvantage, some inability. Well, if we're claiming to be born again following Christ, and Jesus says in John 14, 15, why do you say you love me, but you don't keep my commands? Isn't this beautiful? You're handicapping yourself because you're not going to live a full, vibrant, powerful, strong Christian life if you're not obeying God. How about Colossians 3.2? The Bible says, set your mind on things above. Many Christians, myself included in the past and at times if I don't watch myself, they're not setting their mind on things above. They're setting their mind on things of this world, the things of their flesh, problems, trials. No, we need to set our mind on things above, as the Bible teaches. Here's one, Luke 9.62, Sister Debbie and I's favorite verse, one of our favorite verses. Where Jesus talks about if you're not willing to look forward, you put your hand to the plow and you're looking backwards, you're not fit for the kingdom of heaven. Yep, that's a big problem. Looking backwards, looking at family and friends you had to leave, old bodies, jobs, whatever. Looking forward not looking backward. Don't be handicapped in your walk. Don't let your power, your joy, your victory, your peace be stolen by not obeying God's word. Doesn't God's word have our best interest and doesn't our Father know better than us? Yeah, I think so. So we need to trust in it and we need to be doers of it. Amen? Not just readers or hearers. Hey, how about this one? Psalm 51 talks about creating a pure heart and a clean spirit all right how many of us are striving for that every day get up lord give me a pure heart today yep i had a bad thought yesterday or i had an angry thought or an evil thought lord i repented that then as first john says the blood of christ christ cleanses us and then we put on and we ask the father to renew in us a clean heart and pure spirit so that we're not handicapped by our flesh and the ways of man. Hey, how about this one? First Peter 1 talks about being holy in all your conduct. So if we're holy, we're protecting ourselves. That means set apart for God in all our ways. We're pure. We're striving. But later on he says, avoiding youthful, youthful lusts. First Peter 1, 1 Peter 2. Avoiding and turning away from youthful lusts. Hey, how many of us have allowed ourselves to still get caught up in our lust and our sin from the past. You know, lust doesn't have to be sex. It can be lust for music, lust for drugs, lust for fellowship. Check out this view. Another thing that handicaps us, not moving on as it said in Luke 9, but then holding on to the things from our youth. That really, really handicaps us and that's what Satan wants to do. Stumble us with the past not trusting in the Father for the future. I'm going to leave you with this one. In the book of Revelation, I believe it's chapter 12, talks about that they will overcome, I just did a teaching on this, by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony, loving not their life even unto death. Hey, are you handicapped today because you're holding on to the world? Are you handicapped today because you're not living out your testimony in a biblical fashion? Are you handicapped because you're not daily focused more on the blood of the lamb and what he's done for us than you are in your troubles, the world, your weaknesses, your fears? All things to consider. Don't be a handicapped Christian. Christ wants us to move on in his power and his victory. Remember what he says in John 16. Rejoice. I've overcome the world. What are we worried about? He's overcome the world, brothers and sisters. Rejoice in that. 
Don't be a handicapped Christian. Walk in the power and the strength of his might. Amen? So that's my word for you today. Don't be handicapped. Walk in the power and the might of our Lord and Savior, his promises in his word. Don't be handicapped. Rejoice in what he's done. Walk in spirit and truth. This has been Brother Jim at Don'tPerish.com. Go to our website. Hundreds of articles, audios, and videos to help you in the faith. i got to leave this beautiful place of rest. Go to a busy city and preach the gospel. I better not be handicapped while I'm doing it. Better gird up my loins. Hope you have a glorious day. May God be praised.